Either there's no God behind the universe, a God indifferent to good and evil, or worse, an evil God. A young man who wishes to remain a sound atheist cannot be too careful of his reading. <laughs> that experience with Fantasties is, in a sense, the central story of my life, the search for an unsatisfied desire, a desire more desirable than any other satisfaction. If my clearest reasoning tells me that my mind is nothing more than the accidental result of atoms colliding in skulls, <laughs> there must be some mistake. I befriended Hugo Dyson and J.R.R. Tolkien, both Christians. Oh, these queer people were popping up on every side. Hamlet and Shakespeare could ever meet. It would have to be Shakespeare's doing. He could write himself into the play. If Jesus' statements are false, Christianity is of no importance. If true, it is of infinite importance. The one thing it cannot be is moderately important. <laughs> I concluded that if I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world could satisfy, the most probable explanation is I was made for another world.